Hi, I'm Jason with RecordX USA, and I'm here to show you how to set up your Impad SE wireless tablet. It's pretty simple. We're going to go through the steps for setting the tablet up for first use. I'll show you how to connect it to your computer, and then we'll go through uh, the software as well. I'm probably going to break the software section up into another video so you can watch it separately. All right, let's get started. Hi, welcome back to the video. In this portion, we're going to complete the hardware installation, the hardware setup for the tablet. It's quite simple, just a couple steps. First, we'll want to install the batteries. To do that, let's turn the tablet over and remove the battery compartment cover. And install the two rechargeable AA batteries that we supplied. Those batteries can be recharged, by the way, with this little USB battery charger that we supply. I can plug into any USB port and it will charge those batteries. While the compartment is open, let's remove this. This is the USB receiver. This is what maintains the RF wireless signal between the tablet and the computer. Now let's um, put the battery co compartment cover back on and flip the tablet over. Next. Take the little USB receiver and plug it into an open port on your computer. It'll flash, I don't know if you saw that, but it flashed like one or two times when you first plugged it in. You'll probably hear the little found new hardware sound on your computer. And then Windows will detect the drivers automatically and will install the drivers. There's nothing that you need to do, just hang tight for a couple of minutes while the drivers install automatically. I'll mention that for Mac users, the installation process is also automated. Uh, the driver installs by itself. All right, the driver's probably installed by now. And what we'll do is I'll, I'll show you how to establish the connection between your tablet and the RF receiver. What you'll do, the very first time that you turn your tablet on, you need to, to do this. And then from then on out, probably you won't do it very often. But from time to time, if you seem to, to find out that you have no connection between the tablet and the computer, you'll want to repeat this step. To sync or to establish the connection between the, the tablets, the tablet and the USB receiver on the computer, simply hold this button down. You see there's a little button there with a, above it is a picture of a sun. Half of it's sleeping and half of it is awake. And hold that button down. And then on the side of the tablet, there's an on-off switch. Just turn that on while you're holding that button down. And when that happens, this blue light will start to blink. That blue light blinking means the connection between the tablet and the computer is active. Now, if this tablet is left uh, inactive for 20 or 30 minutes or so for a period of time, it will go into sleep mode. That's why this sun is, is a picture up here. This little icon is a sun that's half asleep, half awake. When the tablet is in sleep mode, just press that button and it will wake it up. The other LED here is a low battery indicator. It will turn red if the batteries need to be recharged, or if you're using standard batteries, if they need to be replaced. The battery, the, this LED will blink when the tablet is active, and now you should be able to use the pen on this writing surface in order to control the computer. Well, I have the tablet here. I'll show you. There's a few uh, nice shortcut buttons here. We've got a mute button, the volume control, back and forward. That's if you're in your browser. You can just tap to go back or forward the browser. Here you can click and drag to change the volume or mute it. There's a play pause button, stop button, back and forward, skip track button for a media player. This is a scroll bar. If you're in an application that supports scrolling, just go up or down. That's like the middle scroll wheel on a mouse. You also have zoom in, zoom out. Certain applications will support that. Not all applications do. There's an enter button. There's a browser button that will launch your default browser. Clicking this button will launch my computer. And this button will bring you to your desktop. All right, that's pretty much it. If you want to store your pen when it's not in use, insert it here. And to turn the tablet off, Simply switch that switch to off. See the battery 
I mean, the light, the indicator light will stop blinking. It's okay to leave this RF connector just plugged in all the time. And that's it. Next, I'm going to switch over to the view where you can see the computer screen so you can see how to use the software that we bundle with the tablet.